The antipasto. Antipesto. 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 All right. I, I, I actually, I don't understand why they didn't just call it anti. Like, I get that joke. Anti. They have a woman there. She's your anti. Yeah. But it's antipasto. Um, what, what, why are you looking at your phone in the middle of where we're trying to record an episode here? What's that? Antipasto. So why didn't they just leave it antipasto? Because these items here are all antipasto, except I don't know about the bean sprouts. You see the bean sprouts there? Yeah. That's more of a Asian delicacy, isn't it? Can you eat the decorative pieces on the thing? Like, could you take this? Looks like a gourd. See it? Could you... <laughs> Is that off limits or can you take that? And look uh, at all the stuff in the front, like all those leaves and stuff sticking out. Those all look like pineapple heads. Yeah, could you take those? Are you, I mean, and then what if you wanted some of that crushed ice? Could you scoop that out with a tong with like one of this, like this tong right here where it looks like it has like potato salad on it? Could you grab some of that, that, that buffet ice? Like, <laughs> Every, every single one of the plates that's in front of there has something on it, but only two of them have the tongs on it. Look at the two plates that have tongs on them. Where do those tongs go? Because there's a pair of tongs in the bowl in front of the first plate. There's a pair of tongs in the container that's in front of the second plate. So th those tongs, like, where do they go? This red stuff doesn't have a tong, does it? Well, yeah, I don't know if you can see very at the very, very, very bottom in my version, you can see that there's a set of tongs for the beets. I guess that's a beet salad. What about for the, the things in the back for the those bean sprouts? Are the tongs on the front for the food in the back? You know what I mean? Like they have like a tong system. Like they have the tong and the things in the front, right? Resting, yeah. comfortably yeah. resting on the food. Set, you know, someone grabs it and then they set it back perfectly so it doesn't fall in the food. Some of them, they were resting in the food. And then the ones on the front on the plates are for the food in the back. Now, then I have another question. Can you take those plates? Like if you, you know, you went up to the buffet and you're like, ah, oh, forgot my plate. Could you take one of these plate rests for the tongs? Could you take this and make your salad? I think they're pretty much counting on people not to take those plates because Do you I think they're think glued down to the counter. I think they're glued to the counter. I don't know, but they should be. And that's a great idea. I wonder what kind of glue you would use like super glue. I guess they say super glue works on everything, right? Yeah. Like it always works on your fingers because you get it stuck in your fingers because the top is so hard to open. But when you actually put it on something you want to stick, like if you wanted to glue these plates before the, the rush of people came in, I guarantee the super glue would not work. You'd be holding it there still while people were trying to get around you in the buffet. You're like, pardon me. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm trying to secure the plates with the super glue that's not working. Super glue is real watery and it would probably... The porousness of the plate, the bottom of the plate, you know, the bottom of the plate has a yes, foot I on know it. the bottom of the plate. It has a foot on it. There's a foot yeah. on the bottom of the plate, and it would be porous, and it would probably, you put the super glue on there, it would soak into the, the plate, and you, you couldn't, you'd be moving the plate around on top of that surface to try to get it to stick, and people would be coming in, and it's a whole scenario I've painted, painted in my head about super glue so i mean if you're gonna do that why aren't there chains attached to the tongs so people don't steal them 
That's true. Chains would get rusty though and food all over them, right? Yeah, and you'd never be able to wash the tongs because the chains would have to go with them. Did someone gather them and he would have like a like a special belt where all the chains hang down with the tongs? They would be cl- they would be clipped on there like around his waist. It would make like almost like a it would make like a, a hula kind of a dress of chains with tongs on the end, right? He would walk through the and he would unclip it to like you could also have the tongs hang from the ceiling. That would be really cool. Right? If when you came there, you pulled it down and it was retractable. So when you got your food, you'd be like, and then you'd pull it again and go. Yeah, that wouldn't be very practical, but it's nice to think about different, different tong scenarios. Tong scenarios. All right. We've done enough with this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week where we go to Frankie Tomatoes again. You won't want to miss this episode. We're going to dig that much deeper into what makes Frankie Tomatoes the best buffet in Toronto for Italian food. Mm